Okay, salawam, salawam, kom je ze alle. Koholoimla, ja, obasim, ja, we zijn, ba, hasim, ra, ha, ko, dash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who do rule well, and by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say, the water to all the Akim and Akwa that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. Jachana Nawaf is coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. I just wanted to touch on this uh, particular article right here it's with um, North Korea. It says North Korea infant jail <laughs> for life after parents found with Bible, according to recent report. So North Korea is not playing no games over there about white Jesus, man. And that's pretty much what these people believe in. When, 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 they, when they talk of Christianity, when they talk of people, you know, with the Bible like that in those places like that, they're, they're talking of white Jesus. Blonde haired, blue eyed, white Jesus, which is an idol. And it's a shame that these people are actually being tortured and going to jail and all these different things for something that's not even true. For something that's not even real. Because the Lord of the Bible of the scriptures is a dark melanated man and that lie of white jesus christianity has been told for hundreds of years and this that shit is spread throughout the entire globe you even have people in 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 a place like north korea you even have people in china it's, it's people that actually really believe that they're it's the same with so-called black people how you believe in that all these people are believing that the, the that their lord is a white guy just think about how silly that shit is all these people, that lets you know how, how the so-called white man has pushed white Jesus Christianity throughout the globe. And this is Babylon the Great, man. This is that, hey, <laughs> when these countries drunk of that wine, they really drunk of that wine and got drunk, man, and, and laid in bed with this, this whore. <laughs> because it, it doesn't make any sense that they're going to jail and being tortured for something that's false. But, hey, that's the world that we live in, man. It is what it is. But, but there's coming a time, man, where the Lord is going to show who he is, man. And people are going to be in for a rude awakening, a rude, rude awakening when they see that it's not this white guy that the so-called white man been pushing for hundreds of years. OK, but it says let's get a little a little of the story. A two year old, along with his entire family, were sentenced to political life imprisonment after North Korea's officials found a Bible in their possession. The U.S. State Department's International Religious Freedom Report 2022 found documenting the regime's crackdown on people having religious beliefs. Well, I mean, America is, is very fucking hypocritical because that same thing is happening here. It's not to the extreme that it is over there, but it's already happening here. They, 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 they want to ban the Bible here in the America. So, so cut the shit, man. <laughs> this place is hypocritical as hell, man. It says the report provided estimated figures on religious persecution, stating that approximately 70,000 Christians, as well as individuals from other faiths, are in prison in North Korea. The right to freedom of thought, conscience, and religion also continues to be denied with no alternative belief systems tolerated by the authorities. The United Nations Secretary General said to the report outlining liberty religious atrocities that have occurred in North Korea in the past years. I mean, come on, man. America, y'all need to cut the shit, man. Because y'all done ran throughout the entire globe pushing white Jesus. You came here to the Americas and stole America with your white Jesus and tortured and... and and rape, robbed, and pillaged the, the, the so-called Native American Indians, man. See, the Lord don't like a hypocrite. And, and you're being found out to be, be one. People are, people are starting to point the finger at you like, how can you talk to us about um, humanitarian um, crises and all these different things, inhumane treatment of humans, when you don't even treat your own citizens right? See, Russia done spoke up on it. China done spoke up on it. And they've spoken up on the fact that you so-called white people here in the Americas have treated Negroes here terribly since we've been here. So you need to cut it out, run it throughout the world, acting as if you're this, 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 you know, this special people that that just loves every fucking body, man. With your white Jesus. Come on, man. Anyway, let's go on. The U.N. said that the COVID-19 restrictions on travel reduced information about religious persecution conditions man y'all knew them, them people weren't going for that shit over there hey what you talking about making details about uh, cases of abuse difficult to verify the state department said that they eventually confirmed the details from the report from non-governmental organizations human rights groups and the un the report noted that a few registered institutions including churches existed in the cutoff country especially in the capital of Pyongyang, I think is how you pronounce it, I'm not, not sure it's Lakia, 
However, visitors reported that the church operated under tight state control and functioned largely as a showpiece for foreigners. And that's pretty much what it is. You know, they, they don't want to seem as if they're just complete damn animals or complete heathen, you know. It says the Department of State said that the scope of the quality, quantity of underground or secret churches remained difficult to quantify due to the government's forbidding private religious activities. Defectors told officials that the North Korean government encourages citizens to report anyone engaged in unauthorized religious activities or if they own any religious materials like Bibles. The defectors shared that Christians often hide their religious activities from family members, neighbors, co-workers, and others due to fear of being branded as disloyal to the North Korean government and reported to authorities. Okay, well, hey. Yes, you're not, you know, you're not a real Christian if you're not willing to be persecuted, huh? Because hey, Yahweh shot, he didn't, he didn't back down. He knew what was coming to him. You know, the disciples, they was beaten, you know, the apostles. They knew what was coming to them. You know, the Apostle Paul, he even talked about how, you know, they even said how, how glad they were to suffer for on the sake of Yahweh Shai. Right? You see what I'm saying? So, I mean, hey, you, you, <laughs> they, they out here all underground. And, 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 you know, and don't get me wrong, you know what I'm saying? In certain situations, I guess, you know, you want to use wisdom, but at the same time, too, we're talking about, hey, we can't be ashamed of the gospel. We can't be ashamed of the Lord, man. We have to you know, go ahead and just do this thing regardless. <laughs> we have to, you know. That's like getting to the point of, they talking about the MOTB or the market of beauty and the beast they want to put in you, this chippity chip chip. They want to put that shit in you and then you just like, oh, well, you know what? Fuck it, I'll take it. You know, just to just, you know, um, keep from dying right off. But the Lord know, knows I love him. No, nah, you're going to have to be, you're going to be persecuted. When you come into this truth, man, you're going to go through trials and tribulations, man. There's a lot of stuff that we're going to have to go through. The scriptures actually, matter of fact, let's get that. Um, Revelation 2 and 10, I think it is. And I'm sure it's, um, you know, it's some, some, um, some Jake over there, though, man. Some Jake in North Korea. Some Israelites in North Korea over there, man, because we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Revelations 2 and 10, it says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So, hey, that's what we, hey, we got to go through it. We're praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to endure that, because that could be a scary situation. See, we, you know, we can say what we want to say while we're free. You know, able to do little videos and stuff and just able to walk about and go to the store and go to the park and do it. But when it, when 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 the true resistance come down, <laughs> when when the hammer comes down and these people are out here throwing throwing Jake into the back of these vans and stuff like that or whatever, man, driving us off to whatever camp or wherever they trying to, you know, whatever, man. You see that damn guillotine, that guillotine or whatever. <laughs> hey, it could get it could get hardcore for us, man. You know, so we're praying to you. How about you? was shy. That he will help us to fear not. Go ahead and take what's coming, because we understand that on the on the you know it's a, the reward is far better than anything on this side, man. That reward is gonna be great, you know. So we're praying to you, Yahweh Shemuel Shai, for you know for that that endurance, that strength to go through this, man. Okay, and we don't really have to go too much further off into it. You can um, pull this article up if you want to. It says North Korea pledges further develop relationship with China could see China like that too but now one thing I will say let's let's go back off into the scriptures real quick I'm not gonna keep this long let's go into Exodus chapter 20 let's get the the Ten Commandments real quick right and what, what the Ten now now the reason why I want to bring this up is because you think that these countries though as wicked as they are and they're heathens they're, they keep the, they keep the laws of, of, of Yahweh to a certain extent. They keep certain ones. You know what I'm saying? They, they keep they're not they're not going to praise him. They're not going to worship him. You know what I'm saying? But what I will say is let's get into it. Um, let me see. Say, for instance. Of course, they're not keeping the Sabbath day. Verse 10. Um, no, 
like I said, we know they're not keeping the Sabbath day. Um, that's why I say to a certain extent they're keeping some of these laws. Like, you know, I'm sure they, 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 they may honor their mother and their father over there. Honor thy, uh, verse 12, honor thy father and mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. And, and, and a lot of these, these countries, you know, they have a, a matter of fact, they honor their mothers and their fathers far better than they do here in the Americas. Why? <laughs> because that's the that's a that's a thing that they know of and, and and see these law statutes and commandments go way back when they were given to us and a lot of these countries that are ruling right now these heathens that are ruling they're somewhat ruling off of our law statutes and commandments that was given to us they're not keeping it to the full extent but you know even in certain countries you you, you can you can be um you know killed for killing people you know just like how the scriptures say <laughs> and that's one and, and this is one thing that will go on in North Korea. You don't think that you, 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 you they're not going to allow you to just be, you know, running into somebody's house stealing. They got a law for that. <laughs> you see, they're not going to allow you to just kill someone. They have a law, law for that. You know, thou shalt not murder. Thou shalt not steal. You see what I'm saying? Certain places, man, they'll cut your damn hand off. You know, but it's a lot of um, countries. That'll, that'll um, execute your ass, and it's not going to take as long as it take you here in the Americas to get executed. See, here in the Americas, they be pussyfooting along, got the taxpayers paying, you know, all this money, because these, these prisons are private anyway. They're just a bunch of money-making um, schemes, a Ponzi scheme going on, basically. So they make a lot of money off people just sticking around in these prisons. But, man, you know this guy done killed 20 people. What the fuck is you housing him for for 10, 15, 20 years on death row? Why don't you just go ahead, don't waste no electricity, go ahead and fire a squad his ass. Or let the person, fam, let the family do what they feel is if they, I mean, come on, man. If they done that, a lot of the, a lot of the Americas would be a lot more straightened out. So see, America be talking all that shit, but America doesn't, you know, they claim they're a Christian country, but they don't, they don't keep none of the law, statutes, and commandments themselves. See, in certain countries, they're not they're not going for that um the the A B C D E F G shit. Here in the Americas, they'll have you come in swearing on the Bible in a, in, in a court system, and, and and they they actually write laws for the A B C D E F G shit to go on. So America is really hypocritical. Okay, so verse thirteen it says, "Thou shalt not kill." Of course, we know that you know they're they're not about to allow nobody to just walk up the street and kill somebody and keep on walking. Oh, well, you know, well, you know, <laughs> we don't have a law against that. No, these countries got law. They got these types of laws. Why? And where do they come from? They come from the scriptures. You got um, verse 15, thou shalt not steal. Verse 16, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. I'm sure they got laws against somebody bearing false witness over there. You can like, oh, yeah, he done this, 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 and this. Then they come to find out it wasn't true. They take your ass to jail. It says, um, verse 17, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his maidservant, nor his, ma his men servant, manservant, Salakia, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. And, and I'm sure they got laws over there for that. You see? So, the basics... These, these countries that hate the Bible, they hate the scriptures, they hate the Lord, they actually use his, his laws to rule their government, so to speak. Even from a standpoint of them being on a dictatorship, you know? But also, let's get this real quick and I'll end out. <laughs> they, got, they got the damn baby in jail. The baby don't know what's going on. <laughs> God damn. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, boy. Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers of water. He turneth it whithersoever he will. The Lord don't want this man to know um, his law, statutes, and commands, which they wasn't given to him anyway. They wasn't given to these heathen, man. So you, 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 you people, man, that's running around out here believing that the Lord is some white guy. Y'all, y'all might as well just go ahead and live y'all heathen this life, man. Because you're wasting your time. <laughs> you might as well be having fun. You are blowing your time. Because this is your time. This is your time to get down. This is your time to be happy. This is the, your reward on this side. Because when the, when the true kingdom come in with dark, melanated people ruling it, your your y'all ass is going into slavery. And you're going to keep our rule. Hey, you, hey so, you know, you could take a, um, a lesson from the North Koreans on this end. 
because when we rule, we're going to rule with iron fist. We're going to rule with iron with that iron rod as well. And it's going to be a lot worse. You think that this is something, you know, <laughs> you think that, uh, that the North Korean president throwing a damn toddler in the jail for his parents having a Bible. That ain't that's not going to be anything, man, when we rule. That's not going to be nothing. Let us catch your ass out here praying to Buddha or whoever the hell else. Gonna be none of that, man, in our kingdom. So we're gonna rule with an iron fist, iron, uh, 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 iron rod, and we're gonna be very, very crucial and very, very. I can't even. There's no words for how we're gonna be towards you, nations, man, because you you've shown us no mercy. We we've been we're, we're trapped in your countries, in, in your regions, right now to this very day, uh, keeping all your rules, you know. Keeping all your little bullshit law, statutes, and commandments. So when, when it comes to our turn, you're going to do the same. It's only right. <laughs> it's only right. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Shola.